Aloha, and welcome back to the Senate segment of Live at the Legislature. My name is Jacob Aki, and today I'm joined by our newest Senate member, Senator Lara Ocasio. Senator Ocasio represents Senate District 1, which includes uh, the larger Hilo area. Senator, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you very Senator, much. Senator, uh, you were um, appointed one day before the legislative session began in mid-January. Can you talk about what that experience was like? Uh, yeah, that was amazing. Um, I have to say that it was um, a bit of a whirlwind, um, but nothing we can't handle. Uh, we hit the ground running. I, I came, I flew over within 10 minutes, maybe, okay, about, maybe I had about half an hour to pack. Um, and come over, uh, you know, to Honolulu and get set up and start with all the human, you know, the human resources of, of getting the job started. But um, our real focus um, became prioritizing uh, hiring on a really amazing staff who has been nothing but supportive and, and, um, and incredible um, in our um, function here at the Capitol, uh, representing the people of Hilo. Uh, we uh, then, you know, immediately we had deadlines to submit bills, and so we had a, a, co a, co a collaborative of folks that were um, joining forces to help us, um, you know, be able to uh, be effective and in, and uh, submit bills and sign on to bills as well. Um, so it just became um, a lot of reading and a lot of uh, trying to understand uh, the exact process, but um, we, we did it and uh, we started, you know, building building more relationships and um, yeah, focusing on the, the tasks at hand and full swing right into hearings and, and the legislative session has been really amazing um, growth opportunity and yeah, thank you. As you said, you know, you came into this uh, one day before the start of the legislative session and you really had to hit the ground um, running. You were able to introduce a slate of legislative measures. Uh, what are some of those measures that you introduced? Um, well, I'd like to give a shout out first and foremost to Ma'i Movement. Um, it's a, a group of women who have been working really hard um, focusing on gender equity and um, also addressing uh, inequity based on poverty and, and, um, and so socioeconomic um, equity issues relating to young women at school, uh, making sure that they have an avenue to receive uh, um, menstrual products free of charge. What, what we've discovered is that they, um, you know, there is a, you know, there's a equal access to schools, right? And if, if folks have um, blocks um, based on um, economics and or other socio, um, you know, socioeconomic um, factors um, and inequity issues, um, they often won't show up at school or it, it definitely limits their ability to perform and all of these things. So to really just look at those in detail within our um, social constructs and address them directly. Um, so we worked with, um, with them to um, submit a bill. Um, the bill itself actually um, did not move through the Senate at this time, but we are, we've are we discovered that actually the DOE has the ability to implement this already without a statute change. And so we're um, submitting, right. in, in fact, today we'll be um, uh, submitting a resolution to help guide the DOE. And also then they can also um, give information back to the legislature in the form of reports as to even how much um, how much money, for example, goes towards uh, very male-centered, uh, traditionally male-centered things like, for example, football or uh, other extracurricular things that are are generally um, supportive of, of male, and so so that we can really look at at the inequity and address it in the places that need. Um, uh, let's uh, let's move to the COVID conversation. Uh, Hilo is a very small town with many small uh, mom and pop shops. Uh, Mary Monarch, which is probably one of the biggest uh, events in Hilo town, uh, was canceled uh, last year. What has the effects of COVID-19 been like on your district, uh, particularly for those small local businesses? Yes, um, that's a really good question. And thank you so much. Um, it has had huge impacts and implications with our small businesses, especially our, like you said, the artisans and folks that rely on on that as 
pretty much their predominant means of income for the entire year, even in that week. Um, and uh, so, you know, we've seen a huge increase in, um, you know, in small business closures and definitely um, uh, economic troubles. We've seen a, a rise in homelessness and and such. That, that does bring me to um, uh, maybe um, talking about really quickly our uh, capital improvement project that we're working on for Hilo specifically um, is actually to revitalize. It's an economic development um, uh, revitalization for Hilo, for downtown and um, for the areas, um, you know, relating into downtown, um, really to address the small businesses that um, that are, 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 are struggling and, and suffering because of COVID, but even prior um, and so the CIP will be directly to purchase lands and renovate them in order to um, uh, apply a, a really collaborative project with different groups like Hope Services and Going Home Hawaii and the county and for a supportive um, housing um, waste to wealth model. Um, so it also addresses our waste stream issues and our need for um, reuse and, and repurposing and recycling. Um, it also includes a whole component of agriculture to really identify and um, help to uh, streamline distribution systems for our local ag. Because one thing about um, Hawaii Island and um, Hilo being one big center, uh, you know, one of many, but um, an important center where um, we really can rely and, and, and use uh, local food production um, for local consumption. And we know we recognize that that's really um, really vital. So this collaborative project with the CIP is um, really to address a lot of the blight and to bring back um, a revitalized um, Hilo, including the arts. Um, and it's actually really modeled on um, Hawaiian cultural values. I mean, that's the foundation, right? So we have um, keiki tukupuna, um, we have um, olelo Hawaii components um, in terms of um, infusing that and also um, you know, basically just addressing all the needs in the downtown area that we see um, happening today. It's pretty clear when you when you go through there what's going on. Oh, yeah. We have about 30 seconds left um, and you are hosting a virtual town hall this Saturday. Uh, can you briefly share uh, when that is going to be happening, what time and how folks yeah. can view? So Saturday, 4.30, please come on. It's a casual talk story, but I mostly want to hear from you folks and also, um, you know, further introduce myself in any, any way. Um, you can find it on our Facebook page, and it'll also be on my Senator, uh, you know, Senator uh, Laura Ocasio uh, page as well. Thank you, Senator, and thank you for joining us here on Live at the Legislature. And for those at home, we look forward to talking with you next week. Aloha. for work. It's Tuesday morning. I gotta record live at the legislature on Alelo. Senate and House leadership discussing what's happening at the state capitol. So just watch it on the news tonight. Come on, let's go. Hey, this is like getting the news before it's news. If only I could get this remote to work. There. Can we go now? No DVR? No problem. Watch Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. on Channel 49.